Hello and welcome to something a bit different. I want to introduce you to Final Rush Pro 5, the new version of the Final Rush Pro map. This is an upgrade I made from version 4 quite some time ago and I had problems uploading this to the map vault. But now it's there, so you can finally play it. New in version 5 are a crap ton of lobby options. Let's have a quick look at that. So here you can see I hosted the game with version 5 of the map with this nice new map preview created by Juiceboy. And here in the options, if you scroll down, you will see there are now quite some options. Uh, most of those are new and they allow you to configure a crap ton of different things. So you can configure once the first unit starts spawning, how often units spawn in the tier 1 stage, how often they spawn in the tier 2 stage, things like that. You can also configure the random events, how often they occur. Uh, you can basically disable them completely or you can do something completely insane like random units every 5 seconds. The same is true for things such as the bounty hunter feature and you can now configure the HP of the units, you can play with air or without air, you can prevent yourself from getting early access to tech, and yeah, you can restrict units such as artillery. I have also included the auto reclaim feature, uh, this was broken before, so now you can uh, without any mods, have the unit racks automatically disappear without you needing to reclaim, but you getting a percentage of the mass value of the units you killed. And this is also configurable, so by default it's 50%, but you can go very low or you can go very high. There are several game modes. There is the classic mode where you just try to survive as long as possible. Normally you play, you can play this solo or up to eight people. You can play with two different teams, one on each side if you want, but if you want to do that, then you're probably better off with survival versus. There are some differences between those. For instance, in the classic survival, you cannot put your ACU in the water, it will get killed. You cannot kill the transports and all the units, um, so the units going to both sides will be enemy of you, while in survival versus, you will be allied with uh, the units going to your opponent team. There is also Paragon Wars, which is a game mode that was in the map already, but it was broken and now it works. Uh, in this scenario, at the center of the map, there will be a civilian base with a pile of defenses and a building that if you capture it, it will grant you a Paragon for one minute somewhere on the map. Uh, yeah, it now works, but it might have some balance issues. And you can also just play the map on normal without anything special going on. Talking about balance, there were a number of issues in the survival mode uh, in the previous version of the map. For instance, the random events pound units for just one random player. So this often made it harder for one team than for the other team. And now the random events will still target random players, but they will pick one player of each team. Also some glitches have been fixed, uh, such as bounty hunters only spawning for the top team, which is quite unfair. So now it should be a lot more balanced and I made a bunch of different improvements as well aimed at uh, improving the gameplay. Okay, so let's have a quick look at doing a game. So we are currently on survival versus the default mode. Oh yeah, and here are the number of difficulty presets, which will change the other values here, um, but you can set them yourself if you want more fine grain control. So playing with survival versus, as you can see, it looks the same as Since it's versus, uh, I have a um, lighthouse here, 
that allows me to see side of the map and from the bot's perspective uh, this is on the other side of the map Okay, let's speed up the game a bit and see if we get some random ones. Oh yeah, and I forgot to mention, you can now play the map without having any mods. This means some of the UI elements that were in the previous version are no longer there, but it's more easy to lose the game. So now some friendship questions. I forgot the hotkey for... Uh can read more about the map on the Fav wiki. If you're hosting a game, then the lobby will list a link to this um, page here, a short link, bitly short link, and this page describes a bit more about the different survival modes. And of course, you're welcome to extend the documentation here. And it also links to the readme file of the GitHub projects, which lists uh, has a more detailed list of the changes that were made in the latest version and will contain also updates on new versions including a detailed change log for those and if you're a developer you're more than welcome to contribute okay have fun playing <laughs>